We are back, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Welcome to the Nepturn. Yeah. And I am not exaggerating, that's the typo <clears throat> that is on every single one of these games, so that's pretty <laughs> amazing, actually. The Nepturn. Yeah. Uh, so, anyways, we are... Uh, this is kind of like end, end stage zone city, essentially. Because it's, it's just all these things now. End, end stage zone city. <laughs> yeah, <that> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Remember, these are these are the things at the end of all the stages. Yeah, it's just a gauntlet of them, essentially. I see. Because now, see, now they're getting desperate. Yeah. yeah I am three seconds of uh, turning this thing down again because I feel like the audio. Because I, I I messed up my keyboard. I had a good volume control setting on my keyboard I could turn it up and down without having to exit out of any program I was in which was great for gaming <laughs> but I cannot do that today because I messed up my keyboard well, I, I'm sure I can fix it it's it's uh, it's uh, a good keyboard uh, yeah oh I'm sure it's fine and uh, as you know uh, these games are designed to drive you insane especially this music you know, oh so. yeah <clears throat> Well, uh, despite our previous test with the audio, I, I was actually kind of worried that this track was just like too high with the with the notes. Oh yeah, because of the the tones and shit. Yeah, it's like ding, 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 ding. yeah. <clears throat> anyway, fucking Gazora, son of a bitch. We yeah, have but... been offline. Oh yes, yes, uh, for a while now, and that's 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 thanks to uh, I can't talk today. That's thanks to Spectrum. Yes, the local cable company that sucks hard. Yeah. They assimilated our old cable company, and they basically became a giant, worser entity of that cable company. Yeah, and that's no <laughs> exaggeration. Yeah, no, literally, yeah, like, because they... Okay, like, they come onto the commercials, and they're like, Oh, we're gonna bring you the best internet speed, and we're gonna bring in a lower prices, and then what do they do? They jack the bills up for all the digital boxes in your fucking house. An extra few bucks. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I think my cable bill is somewhere around, like, 190 bucks or something now. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, they, they shut our, um, they, they shut our, um, cable off, but our internet was still on for a yeah, while. Yeah, which is odd. Yeah. And we didn't think of anything of it. We just thought there was just something wrong with the cable. Damn it. So, after a while, they shut everything off, and... And, and uh, say that we owed like five hundred dollars. So we, so we pay the five hundred dollars, and we, at, you know, you're gonna turn it back on because other other times when we had a late bill or two, mm -hmm. they would turn it on as soon as we paid it. Well, they they lied. They said they would. After we paid it, they uh, said, "Oh, well, we'll have to transfer you to another section," and mm -hmm. that. That person was saying that they would have to come out and uh, switch out our equipment before they could even reconnect us, and then we'd have to give another fee for the reconnection. Oh yeah, because which they, was they, like, they, uh, yeah, it was an outrageous fucking price. They, they, they charge you just for fucking you know doing the service, let alone maintaining it. Yeah. Well, that's the other thing. See, they've radic they've radically advanced. Um, they've radically advanced the, uh, the technology in some degree, and uh, also they basically want you to have like an up-to-date modem because they're tired of people holding on to you know older stuff. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, I, I tell you what, uh, even when the old company before the one that we have now currently, they would give us these uh, these routers and these modems. They were pieces of shit, dude. Yeah. I mean, they would overheat, you know, your shit would shut off. Oh, like I told you that one time, they actually came to the house, uh, and they swapped out this, like, adapter that was in the, uh, the attic. Yeah. Because they said it couldn't, uh, it couldn't handle the wattage 
of the fucking, uh, you know, the equipment. And that's what was causing my modem to shut off and all that shit. And I was like, what the hell? I was like, that's pretty shoddy that you guys intentionally put crappy equipment, you know? Yeah. And, yeah, it's it's just a big clusterfuck. Oh, get the fuck off me, Vernon. Or Varen, or whatever. Vernon. Vernon, Varen, whatever the fuck your name is. Sick and tired of this asshole. He's being such a dick. Hey, Vern. Hey, Vern. Well, let me tell you what. I <laughs> I can't do a good James Cagney. Or, or not James Cagney. Uh, Jim, Jim Varney, yeah. Yeah, Jim Varney. Jim Varney, man. Ah, uh, but, uh, anyways. <clears throat> Yeah, so, uh, so far I don't think there's a new monster here. I think Ghidra doesn't show up till the very end. Finish this asshole. Come on. Yeah! You, you motherfucker! He <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> moved up, Ron. Let's see if I can... You know what? I'm gonna go this way just because... Oh, wait, no. Oh, uh well, -huh. screw it. I didn't want to do that, but... Controllers are being a little touchy. Come on, yes. Yeah, it's not like this is, like, a very hard... It's, it's, it, they basically just made different levels of these stages. Like, this one, it's three of these things, and that little turn shit at the end, and that's it. That's the whole stage. Yeah. So it's just kind of... You're like, oh, that's easy. But, uh... If you have to, like, fight a monster at the end of one of these, and, like, you know, you have to deal with the, uh... You know, the turrets or that fireball or anything, you gotta hope you don't get hit. Oh, come on, really? I didn't hit that? I hit these fucking things sometimes. What do I do? You bastard. <clears throat> Finally, you can usually take them out like that too. You know, like, I just like to drop larvae on them since they're so powerful. You know? <laughs> Bastards. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna give the orange one. <clears throat> this before. I, I had my other speakers on. That's why it's so loud. Oh, yeah. I, I kept wondering. turning the computer down and I was like, why is it still so loud? It's so funny. Yeah, it was like blaring and I was like, whoa! Yeah. <clears throat> I have more than one speaker system. I have your standard computer speakers and then I have a surround sound that's hooked into the back of it. It's an interesting surround sound, too, considering it's, like, cobbled together from various <laughs> brands and yeah. systems, you know. Well, I don't like wasting equipment. Well, it all works. That's the thing. Yeah. You just have to have the tuner or whatever to plug it all in. That's the problem. Until something dies, I can find purpose for it. Oh, yeah, no, that's 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 with me, man. I, I, I have problems throwing away some stuff. I'm like, well, I could still use this in the right situation, you know. It's yeah. like... Oh, God. Well, you know, it was funny. I was trying to explain to some guy on the phone about my TV. And I was like, well, I, I want to buy a new TV, but they don't have, like, any of the RCA ports <coughs> and stuff on the new TVs. All they have is HDMI and, like, <coughs> stuff like that. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I, well, I have, like, a lot of old games and consoles and equipment and shit. I kind of need that, you know. I need multiple ports. <coughs> but I'd still, uh... Yeah. Still rocking VHS to this day. Yeah. I have a working Betamax, for God's sake. I mean, come on. Uh, for you kids who are watching this and don't know what a Betamax is, <laughs> it, it's, it's basically <coughs> what came before VCRs. I don't think kids are going yeah, to I, I know. Yeah, kids probably aren't watching this. <laughs> God willing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll well, continue. Yeah, anyways, but basically <laughs> Betamax came before VHS. Yeah. And its selling point was it had better quality than VHS, but you could put more on a VHS tape. Yeah. 
<clears throat> hence the reason VHS won, just simply because they were oh, they were also more affordable than beta. Beta was banking quality over quantity. Yeah. So <clears throat> But anyways and uh So yeah, but I don't know, there's something about old equipment. I enjoy it. I agree. What do you think, former President Bill Clinton? Well, <laughs> I think the current state of our republic is a bit dis disconcerting, and uh, I, I just, I would have done things differently. Well said. Yes. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I was thinking about saying, what do you think, Frank? And... Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my girl. You jerk. I'm just gonna claw you right in your fucking face. Dick? I can say, like, yeah, what do you think? Uh, no, I forget his rank. Damn it, I was gonna say Simco, but. Oh, uh. I forgot his rank. Uh, <laughs> well, he was a captain, now he is a colonel. Colonel, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you well, think, Colonel Simco? It's been an interesting day. I think we might have another if you have the time. <laughs> I, I, I do that to myself too. I'm just walking around talking like him at the time. You know? mm. Yeah, no, another good series there, man. Yeah. It's uh, Turn Washington Spies. Yeah, it's, it's like historical spirey. Yeah. You know, it's, it's great. And you, you can tell that even though that you could guess that a few of the lines may have been improvised because you know they needed they needed them to say this but it was all it was all put together from letters yeah they, which is astounding that we would get that much information just from people writing to each other well what else did they have to do that yeah well yeah that's Sorry. what i mean unless you sit by the candlelight and fucking write a letter to somebody e even so occupying your mind uh even uh even delivering a message by word wasn't worth its weight half the time unless it was like written and signed by somebody yeah because they were like oh well you could just be saying that you know you don't have a letter that says so and so said that yeah so <laughs> you're just kicking at that thing just turn yeah turn. i know and that's what I mean. I hate the, those three turn things. They're just like sometimes they just go down immediately, and then sometimes you gotta wait for them to. What if you use your tail? Be in the right position. I don't know. It just well, it does a little more damage. It's interesting. I'll have to try that later on. Oh, damn it. That's what everyone else is doing, man. I uh, know. Well, your tail is just, powerful. Don't, don't you just do what everyone else does? No. <laughs> I am not under your control. I am a human being! My life has value, damn it! <laughs> Sorry, I don't all Mr. Beal. Oh yeah, look at the little uh little things up there trying to chuck shit at me. In the top right hand corner. Oh, yeah. well, not 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 the DC nine <clears throat> planes, you know, but the, the space station looking things. You go to the windows right now. You stick your head out and you yell, I'm, I'm mad as, as hell, hell. goddammit! Yeah. And I'm not, not gonna, gonna take, take it, it anymore. anymore. I forget the exact line. But I think it was just, I'm as mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore. Yeah, I'm yeah. as mad as hell. It was just a montage of people coming to the window. And... Yeah, yeah that's a good movie. That's great. Movie. I'll have to look that up. Like, you know, I saw a weird film today. I think it's an, actually a mistake for me to bring this up, but considering the fact that we got, we switched direct TV and they gave us a new channels for three months, um, I, I, I'll flip around every once in a while I'll find some interesting movies on it. I found one that I'm actually convinced it was an independent film because once the film was over it had such a deep meaning I don't think anybody else could have got it. You know? There's, yeah. There's, I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a weird film because like at one point in time I wanted to turn it off but it, it was because it was written so well I kept watching it. Yeah. You know? And the only reason why I was going to turn it off is because it's another one of those movies where a young girl falls in love with an older man. Yeah. And if, if you find those movies, they're fucking weird. And, mm -hmm. But this one, like, Scarlett Johansson was in it. That's the, why I turned to it in the first place. It was called uh, Ghost World. Huh. It vaguely rings a bell. Oh, was that yeah, back uh, Steve, in like... Steve Buscemi is in it. Was that back in like the 2000s? I 
like early 2000s. Yeah, uh, yeah, I've heard of that movie. I didn't know Scarlett Johansson was in that. Yeah, um, well, she they were, were like was she young. Or they like, were high school students that graduated, and they were like trying to live their lives. It wasn't like a lifetime movie or something. <clears> was it? Well, at first it kind of seems that way, but it, like, <laughs> like I said, it, it felt like an independent film, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, all yeah. All independent films, there's all this dialogue that really pulls you in while they walk, like Clerks, like watching oh, Clerks. God damn but this was more like they kept going around town, they kept revisiting people. And the story evolved. Huh. But, like, it was weird. It was really weird. But when the movie ended, I was, like, I, I stopped. I was like, holy shit. There was this really, really deep ending. Like, I don't want to say what the ending was in case anybody out there is like, oh, I want to watch that movie. Because it wasn't a sick film. Like, you know that movie Lolita? Somebody told me, oh, yeah, watch it. And I was like, really? <laughs> And yeah. I tried. I was like, no. First, like, like I don't know. I'm gonna say, got half an hour into it, and I was like, this movie is fucking. Couldn't good. take it. No. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's seemingly. <clears throat> let me say that again. Seemingly, an interesting, uh, uh, an innocent film. That interesting. Yeah, yeah. It seems interesting too when you first start watching. You're like, oh, this is guys in a monologue and he's. <laughs> No, oh, I, shit, dude. I, he got to the family. He walked out into the yard, <laughs> and I was like, "Nope, <laughs> can't watch this." I was like, uh, "This bothers me, damn it, on a deep level." But like this movie, I, I guess I started to get that feel like, "Oh, is this gonna be another one of those movies?" But there was, it was more, it was more dialogue than anything, and it was very artistic. I mean, like she kept going to these art classes, and I kept explaining like two different art styles. And then once the movie ended, I got it. I was like, wow, that's why they, that's why she had the art class. Because without those scenes, you wouldn't get the movie. Mm -hmm. It was that simple. It went beyond what happened between this girl and Steve Buscemi. It was beyond that, because that was all dialogue. You know, she was trying to help him get a girlfriend, he did. And it was just the insinuation. It wasn't. It was. It was more innocent than I thought it was going to be. So I was like, "Fuck you, bastard!" Oh my god, that was close. Sorry. Yeah, it was. It was a really good movie. I actually would recommend <laughs> that. Well, I tell you what, I to anybody because it's, I, I've it's seen funny and, and it's very. It's it. It's cerebral, if you will. Yeah. Like what they try to say what Star Trek was when they first. Well, the very first, the pilot episode of the cage. Yeah, well, they basically said, like, people can handle it, it's too much, you yeah. know, and it's like, well... Even me, to this day, trying to watch the cage, it's like, oh my god, you know, like, yeah. they're looking to end. <laughs> yeah, because it, 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 it's... But you could think back to it and be like, that was a good episode. It's kind of traditional, it traditional theater acting, in a way, and I mean, a lot of Star Trek was that. A lot of Shakespearean, a lot of... Yeah, you know. but Kirk brought to... Kirk brought to the show what um, I can't remember. Um, I guess if you were to put it in modern well, terms, it's kind of that besides what uh, Captain Pike. I, I'm trying to remember yeah. the guys that, that played him. Oh yeah, I, I can't say it was a like Chris something. Oh, I, I think that's no. I'm sorry, I think it's someone else. Guy who originally played Pike, I don't remember, but yeah. But yeah, he was, he was perfect because I think he was in a film or two. Oh like, yeah, he was a well-known. Well, actually, if you go back and look at a lot of those uh, TV shows, they, they do the same thing. Not only the Star Treks <clears throat> do today, but they do the same thing all the other TV shows do. They always have a guest star, yeah, who plays an alien or an ambassador or a, or a scientist or or you know some random character who's only there for one one episode. Right. So like, yeah, there's a ton of people in that. Uh, that were uh, pretty famous at the time, you know. They were either doing another show or they were doing something else or they were in a movie that was hot that summer. Or, yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, but uh, trust me, dude, <clears throat> there's a lot of uh, interesting cinema out there, to say the least. Oh, really? Gigan's moving up here? Yeah, I've been doing pretty good here. Of course he attacks Mothra. Yeah, fucking labored breathing fucking asshole. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Oh, you used to run a full beer. Oh, I do? Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm almost done with it, so. 
quite. I mean, the old one, not the one I haven't opened yet. Oh, come on! You need to take a break after this. Yeah, I've been uh, hammering away at the way of this pretty harsh. Oh. It's alright, two seconds. God damn it. Deegan's a bitch with Mothra. Yeah. Because, see, he just he keeps moving back, and then he'll, like, jump, and he gets all the larvae you try to drop on him. But see, it's almost not fair, because you should be a few more beers in than you are, and... Oh, I'm <laughs> fine. Well, you know. No, I mean, like... That's why uh, uh, I saw that shit. Yeah. See, okay, I, I'm gonna stop what I was saying before, because that was nothing but nonsense filler. But, uh, when I tried playing this game, I actually had a really hard time, because... Um... I, um... Yeah, I, I got to Mothra. I was playing as Mothra. I actually accidentally killed Mothra because I wasn't yeah. aware that every time when he went back and down, uh, I'm just saying B when when B's playing and he and he's his Mothra goes back and down. <clears throat> I didn't realize it's because he's he's being hit and he's being yeah. pushed back and pushed down. So. I had to adapt to that and just not go forward as much. I, I thought that, oh, I could just, like, go full frontal, so to speak, and just keep firing. Oh, yeah, so uh, that's how he... Yeah. So he can pin me and he can really fuck me up here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. Yeah, see my life going real quick there? But what's nice is the fire comes back pretty nicely. Yeah. And I can just claw at him a little. It takes him down. This is a... There you go. Well, I don't know I if I was doing damage, but... I got him. Nice. <laughs> he almost froze. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. we're in good shape. Yeah, uh, Mega Godzilla's gonna try to move up and do something. Take a quick break. Oh, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. Two seconds. Sucking brains out, and... Oh, sorry, we're back. Yeah. <laughs> Afraid to. You know what? I'm gonna go at Mega Godzilla. What's he gonna do? And Baragon is just kind of lingering down there, so. Yeah, you get some health back here, anyways. Gigan's chewing me up there. Oh, yeah, see how this one's different? Like, it just has a fake turret thing there at the beginning. <coughs> it doesn't even open or nothing. Come on. God. Lagging big time. Go yeah, slowly. I was going to say, notice my enthusiasm after you telling me that. I know, right? <laughs> <clears throat> now, if this was Mega Man... Man. God damn it. Yes, yeah, <laughs> true. Like, to, to this day, I have trouble with that game. The very first Mega Man. I love it to death. But, you know, I, I have a hard time because the, uh, the second stage that you're supposed to do, there's that... That just the beginning part with the le uh, the the lifts going back and forth and they drop. I mean, you don't know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, I have but no idea what you're talking about. That 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 part always gets me. I could never get past that part and it drives me insane. And I know it's not that hard, but <clears throat> maybe it's just being away from the Nintendo for so long. You know, I was a kid when I played Nintendo, and then. I remember getting a Super Nintendo shortly after. Jesus Christ. We kind of grew up on that and going back and forth between Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Atari. Right. Oh, and the Texas Instrument keyboard where you slide the... Oh, uh, I didn't have that one. No, that's pretty old. Oh, I think it was something my parents had and we just still were able to play. Damn, Mega Guns It's like uh, next to ColecoVision, so to speak. Right. Oh, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't... You know, it's a pretty tight match here. I'm gonna have to boogie on out of here if you don't decide to attack me again, beat my ass. Well, not really, but still, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, there, it's the computer starts to learn a little. My God, is it glitching? Are you drinking your beer? Yes. Of course mm -hmm. I am. Of course you are. The hell else of would course I be doing? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And Godzilla runs away. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually didn't mean to go that far, but um, but I do need to get like some life back here. Because, yeah, I understand. Yeah. That's better. 
if I played, I'd probably end up killing them. Well, see, it's tricky with, um, especially Mega Godzilla. He's actually one of the worst on the game because, you know, I mean, he's literally a copy of, of Godzilla. Yeah. So he has all of Godzilla's, like, strength and abilities. But, um, I mean, he's, he saw, he was just killing it with that laser. Yeah. I mean, I was just getting fucking, ooh, got chipped by that, too. Yep. Pardon me. I, I, I have to turn these speakers off. It's actually bothering me that how loud they are. Yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> I, I just didn't want to walk in front of you, and then I was just like, you know what? It's fine. It's, it's making me shout, and it's also pick, being picked up by the mic, because this is a... What? Uh, <laughs> what, what is this? A mag, uh, Philips Magnavox speaker. Yeah. Like you said, it's a hodgepodge of, of all these different speakers. That yeah, have. I think it's it's something Two like... Phillips, uh, I think I have a Sanyo, a Sony... You have a Sharp. A Sharp. Yeah. <laughs> And then and there's like, oh, there's still an old uh, no-name brand two-way speaker over there. Yeah. That's, yeah. All being powered by a no-name brand. Um, actually, no, I think that's also my uh, 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 Sharp. Oh, that's the, yeah, that's where the speaker came from. Yeah. <clears throat> the system is a Sharp. That's yeah, kind of sad. I have a few speakers myself, too, and I just never had anything to hook them up to, and I'm like, damn it. Yeah. Nice little Sony, you know. Surround, they're meant for a surround sound system. But yeah. Like I said, old equipment. I'd have to go for so. Ooh. God. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Sorry, I accidentally cut your mic out. Oh, it's alright. Really? That's not gonna open? Really? Oh, that's bullshit. Ooh. They're getting pissed now. They're <clears throat> sending two or three of these goddamn things at me. This is one of the longer stages. This is why it's taking forever. Wow, that actually destroyed that. I don't believe it. Man. It's like throwing walls at me and shit. Is a jerk. Yeah, literally. <laughs> it just sounded really well. Just, I mean, my god, these, these stages just drag on for a while. I mean, look at this. Okay, this is finally the end. It's one of these goddamn things, and it's to, designed to chip you down as much as it can before you can get through. <laughs> just getting shot. I'm trying to get off screen and shit. Yeah, he's, he's following me. But she's got most of his life back. Mm hmm. Good chunk of it. Be careful, I could probably beat him. God damn. He's just got like so much fucking power too, you know? Yeah, that's a like, really good chunk. Get the fuck back away. Yeah, screw you, jerk. Actually, just like maybe a level higher than me, you know. But, all right. Let's see if Baragon actually is going to come after us. I feel like the last time he did, uh, they were confused and they just kept going back and forth in the same area. Yeah, it was just really funny. Damn it! Damn it! The limits of flight. <laughs> it's like... <clears throat> I 
know, these stages all look like the fucking Death Star from Star Wars, man. I know. You know? You're in the trench run. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on target. Almost there. Oh. It came from behind. <laughs> Force is strong. Trust in the force. Mm. I'm bad with Let go. Yeah. yeah. Let go. You switch off his navigational yeah. computers. What's Luke, what's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, I'm alright. It's alright. I know what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, you know what? Um when you when you told me you got the truce of Bakura. Oh yeah. I really, really want you to read that because. Oh no, I'm, I'm trying. Trust me, it's that is such a good book. Like it's, it's, it's not Timothy Zahn or anything, but it's really fucking good. Like just for the fact that it's supposed to take place like directly after, like the day after the Return, uh, Return yeah. of the Jedi, with the um, where they <coughs> partied on 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 the uh, moon of Endor. I'm getting through it here. It's just, yeah, the whole thing with gets a distress call from Dax and or not Dax. Uh, Wedge. Wedge. Yeah. Sorry. Dax. Yeah, Dax died. Dax died. A horrible, you know, uh, the, uh, Empire revenge, revenge death. You know. Yeah. Revenge like that. You could say a cold, icy death. Yeah, in a way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they kept him on ice. <laughs> That's horrible. They iced him. Yeah. <laughs> Gave him a cold shoulder. <laughs> I don't know. Die, <laughs> Baragon, in your annoying squeal of death. You could also say Lucas gave him the boot. That's true. Yes. He was stuck on it. <laughs> that, that did hurt. And that was a boot. I mean, he, he was dead before he was stepped on, but... Yeah, but it was just kind of like a final nail in the coffin type thing. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That was his burial. <laughs> yeah. Incinerated by explosion by being crushed by <laughs> yeah. an at, -AT. <laughs> Well, that's pretty great. Look, see, he's trying to jump and he can't even get me. That's why standing up is his only defense, because I get to sit here and do this all day. Yeah. Bastard creature of horrible insight. Yeah. Ah, God. Interesting. Alright. I'm bringing Godzilla down here. Yes, I'm gonna fight him. I'm gonna try to get the hell off of this. Get off the space station. <laughs> I also saw <coughs> what this is. another movie today. I just, just remembered this. It was a documentary about a, um, a Superman movie that they were going to make, hmm. and um, a lot of it had to do with um, Kevin Smith because he wrote a script that they that they said no hmm. to. But I think somebody asked Kevin to work with them, considering he had some knowledge on the subject. He just. Yeah, he had enough knowledge to write a script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, that's impressive. There's some, so. Yeah, because, I mean, like, some people treat me like I know a lot, but I don't know dick compared to others. You know? Yeah, oh yeah. It's, it's, um... It's interesting, too, because, you know, you think there's people who have a lot, you know, going for it. It's like, no, these are just facts I kind of memorized because, you know, I watched the movie or I read the book. You know, so many times that yeah. you know exactly what's happening. But in this case, I'm talking about Superman. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> you only know so much about Superman, but then there's somebody else that are, that's like, yeah, but then he did this and he did that, and that's why he's like this, and 
And then this Smallville way, happened. And, yeah, and uh, yeah. That, that's somebody who really read them, really got into these stories, and watched every movie. And I wouldn't call that person obsessive, but I would call that person extremely have extreme attention to detail when it comes out, because that, that's how I am with Resident Evil. A dedicated Evil. fan. Yeah. I'm like that with Resident Evil. Um, various games that I've played, and sometimes, I, like, like Final Fantasy VIII, for instance. Um, uh, I think I'm getting off the beaten path because I'm a little drunk, but, like, Man. there's so many people that misunderstand that game. As soon as somebody says, oh, Squall's an emo, it's like, Wait, what? <laughs> like, first of all... Talk about it, like, super generalizing, you know? Yeah. But, like... You know... The game starts... And he just has an attitude because he just got into a fight with, with a classmate. And he's got a bit of a chip on his shoulder now because... Yeah. He's kind, of, he's kind of pissed off. He's stewing yeah. about this fight, and this guy gave him a scar. There's a permanent scar on his face now. There's something to be pissed about, you know? And then he ends up falling in love with this other girl that he just met. Doesn't find out until later that she's dating the guy he got into a fight with. <laughs> and along the lines of that, he's also an orphan. And he's estranged from his sister, who also was an orphan with him. Hmm. So the entire time, there's constant reminders of his sister. And that's what makes him stop and think. And in just it's, it's, I guess it's the bad animation where he's always looking down. But when it goes to... The, I know you don't know this, but there's a whole other side of the story where, he, where they all have dreams together. And, and there's this whole other party back in... Uh, a long time ago with this guy named Laguna <clears throat> and he was like the squall character of his day and the rest of his group was like the Zell and the Salfi but but um, I don't I don't think I don't think either of them the were female. Um, there's a guy named Kiros and he kinda looks feminine but you look him up and he's a guy who's Pretty badass though. He has what? two guitar. Did you just see that? I... No, I've been looking at you actually. Oh, so, I, uh, I just. Sorry. I, I almost killed him and then it just ended. <coughs> and I guess I killed him? Huh. Okay. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck okay. it. I guess I killed him. I mean, I didn't do the, you know, the end scene. Invisible yeah. cheers. Yeah, right? That was just weird. I, I, I think I've seen that before, but. Like, I guess the computer just said, oh, okay, fuck it, fine, you won. You know? <laughs> just, it gave up and it just said, okay, fine, go to the next level, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Let's so. yeah. well, see, like, Final Fantasy VIII. Every, everybody says Seven's the best. I'm not going to dispute that. People think Seven's the best, that's the best to them. Mm -hmm. To me, the best Final Fantasy would be, I mean, besides the first one. Uh, two. Once you get balls deep in two, that's a game you can't you can't put it down. You keep coming back to. You know, it's like playing Chrono Trigger, and you just you just you gotta keep playing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's it's like or like like when you played Shadow of the Em uh, yeah, uh, Shadow of the Empire. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a it's a game that was. Yeah, it was a little bit of everything. Yeah, I know it's a bad comparison, but I mean, like, B knows what I'm talking about. Like, that yeah, game. like there was shit I didn't know about before, like when I first played it, and I'm like, oh, there was extra ammo right there, oh, there was a hidden spot over there, oh, that's how you get to that yeah. platform, and like, everything made sense, it's just like shit you didn't think about when you first played the game, and yeah. so, mm. but yeah, there's there's subtle layers, essentially. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll give you a, uh, a few... Uh, a few details about some um, some Star Wars. Um, I mean, you know these, but mm -hmm. let's pretend you don't know. Oh, sure. Well, I don't want you to yeah. pretend to not know either, because um, anyway. 
Damn my drunkenness state. <laughs> you gotta hurry up, I'm almost done. <laughs> There, there's there, okay. All right, here, here's here's number one. Timothy Zahn wrote uh, the continuing stories of episodes seven, eight, and nine after Lucas, Lucas, not Lucas, Lucas, finished his original trilogy. There were books that were written one year after each of the movies. These books would which went to the movies, uh, 4, 5, and 6, had extra detail, and they were written after. I looked them up. So it's not like... It's, it's not like... Um, it's not like they left out detail. No. Lucas knew that he wanted to add these details. Little things that you wouldn't see in the story. They didn't have time, yeah. or be too boring to explain in the movie, so he put it in the books. I mean, someone else wrote the books, you can clearly see, but yeah. they, they got just his all approval. the extra shit. They yeah. could not release these books without Lucas's approval. I mean, oh. it has Star Wars on it. Yeah. You know, that's, that's just the thing. But, you know, after... No, the evil Empire <laughs> owns it, huh? Yeah, and, and look, we're, we're talking when these movies were released before the quote-unquote expanded universe. Yeah. Right? So these books were already there. Timothy Zahn was like, I want to continue. Yeah. Let me just write was, the books. Just, like, we don't have, like Lucas said, I don't want to make the Built off of it, and, you know, Lucas said, well, it's a damn good story, so, yeah. Yeah, well, he told him, um, I want this, this, and this. He just gave him a small list. And so the story goes. I don't know what the list was. I don't know what he told him. Yeah. He just said, I, you know, this, this, and this. Just don't touch on those, you know, or work around them or something. Timothy Zahn, <coughs> so, <coughs> Timothy Zahn came up with something so awesome. Not only did Lucas approve it and put Star Wars on the front cover, but he went back and made Episode One, which was all inspired by Timothy Zahn. And Timothy Zahn is the creator of the planet Coruscant, by the way. So the whole time they going back to Coruscant is. Yeah. That, that's what's crazy too. You would have thought Lucas would have had that like in the background, so to speak, and he yeah. would have never envisioned. Well, maybe never envisioned, but he would have. He, he wouldn't have thought of the concept of having a planet as the core. Yeah. Like literally, government for the universe. That, that you know. Yeah, but before he made these movies, a series of books, a series of prequel books, was like years and years and years and years and years. Before everything ever happened. Like, yeah, there's actually a whole book out now. I saw it at uh, one of the Disney parks. Well, you know, it's all at all the Disney parks. But uh, it was a book. It was talking about all the early like concept art and yeah. like all the early stuff, like before what we know today, and like things were different and stuff was moved around. Yeah, yeah. And it's it's very interesting to see the evolution of like what it was to what it is now. Yeah, it was just pretty awesome though because. Uh, um, you know, when you watch episode one, they go to the council chamber, and it, it was either uh, Yoda or Mace. No, it, god damn it, I can't remember. It could have been Kiddy Mundy, uh, who said something about the Sith being extinct for a millennia, and that's a reference to the to the Great War. Yeah, uh, with um, the the, the hy hyperspace. Wait, yeah, the hyperspace wars, or the um, there's another name for them. God damn it! All right, well that is it. Sorry. It's okay. I'm just trying to remember the name of this war. Oh, we're on Planet X. I think, <laughs> this, Planet I think X. this is it. And then it just plays the theme song. And yeah, and you gotta go all the way over here. Yeah, it's just a gauntlet. Look at that. Could you imagine sitting up all night playing this game and this music comes back on and you're like pumped, you're like <gasps> you wake back up and you're Let's like Let's go yes. again, bro. Let's go again. Yeah, do it, bro. But yes, so this is the final stage, Ghidra, level twenty-three, which is pretty significant. 
Yeah, you, you should have spent more time leveling up. You're gonna have a hell of a time, buddy. Oh, no. I, I would suggest going level to level. The, no, well, see, this is the one or I like, told you. Like, you know. Yeah, no, this is where I told you. I'll usually, like, sit here or here and just let them come towards you because they'll thin themselves out. Yeah. And you, you, do, you, you do have to do kind of, like, a little bit of, you know, back and forth because once you get to, like, Gigan, Mega Godzilla, like, you know, they're going to give you some <coughs> shit. Yeah. Like, these first five monsters or four monsters here are not that bad. Compared to like what level you're at now, the door is even a pushover by this point. Yeah. So, um, anyway, we will finish this up and uh, another day. Yes. Yes. Enjoy the previous video and uh, I, I hope to hear from everybody. Yeah, if you're watching this, Pluto already um, came out before, obviously, but yeah. uh, we, we would have also put out. Um, uh, um, bad translation theater uh, act two before this also. So yeah, there's, if you there's a bunch didn't of watch it, too. I suggest watching it and telling us if we did good or not. And um, do you have anything else to say? Um, no, I'm just glad to be <coughs> back and uh, yes, hope to be bringing you people fine quality entertainment. You know. <laughs> Or as, or as good as it can be. As good as it can be, that's yes. exactly it. So yes, thank you for watching, and we'll hope to see you again soon. Yes, <laughs> later. Soon as the internet provides. Yes. Yes. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>